couple little things gonna help you guys out, okay? Good work. You got about 10 minutes. One quick go. question, Coach. Yeah. So you're, you're talking about the load and when, when they're working soft toss and how to get the timing down. Talk to them about the same thing when they're working on the, with the tee. Same thing with the tee. So with the tee, a couple of things important with the tee is you want to make sure that your front foot is even with the back part of the tee so the ball is slightly out front, okay? And you can get close to it in practice doing what we were talking about. You can back off, but I don't recommend backing off because then you start to cast, okay? But you want to make sure that you get going this way and then get going this way back into your swing. Load, boom, off the tee. And you're visualizing pitches coming in. And here's the other thing that I didn't really finish about the timing, is this is the computer, okay? You need to figure out what the velocity is of a pitcher as soon as possible. Whether it's soft toss, coach's VP, or game. Figure out the velocity. First pitch, you need to be timing in the on-deck circle, sitting there timing in the dugout, and then that first pitch in the game, when you're starting that first time through, look him over, get a read on the velocity. But you should know at what point you need to start your load. <laughs> Guy throws gas, may have to start here. Guy throws slow, you may start when he's ready to release the ball. That's when you go and then come this way. Because you want to be able to drive the ball through the middle, that's your approach and plan, okay? So figure out, let that computer hit the record button to where you got him. You got his velocity, you got his movement. Because you can sit in the dugout and go, yeah, it looks like he's throwing pretty firm. And then you see the first pitch and go, he ain't throwing that hard at all. And then you go to work. So I don't recommend, when you start, <coughs> excuse me, I don't recommend swinging at the first pitch or first at bat, just because you don't, you're not in the flow of the game. You don't really know what the kid's timing's like. And so you'd rather be 0 and 1 than 0 for 1, right? You'd rather be 0 and 1 than 0 for 1. So get a read on his velocity and movement. Good? Yep. Anything else? <laughs> All right, good stuff. These are just little polished things that I have to work with kids all the way up, all the way up, as far up as you can believe. I mean, they have the same issues, the same struggles, and it's the same stuff I tell them that I tell you guys, okay? All right, good work, keep it going. Thank you.